Hi there, how are you doing today? Our friends at Fnixi sent another new product for testing and this time it isn't an oscilloscope. Bummer. I have here in my hand the brand new WD-01 wall detector. This device is able to detect current, pipes, wires and wood or metal stubs on the wall. Since to test this, I need to test it on some walls. Today review it will be a bit different and it will happen away from the workbench. I will test this on my workplace, the office where I work and also, and this is a uh, new in the channel, in the home that I am building and it will be ready in a few months. Right now it's only a mess construction site. Before passing to the features highlight, just a few seconds to thank the viewers that use the Tech Corner affiliate access links while doing shopping on AliExpress, Amazon and Banggood. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're helping the channel a lot and you don't even have to spend any more money for that. Just by using one of the links on the screen before paying your goods on AliExpress, Amazon or Banggood. Again, thank you. So without further ado, let's see the feature highlights. As usual, I will start by showing you what was delivered in the box. It was it is delivered in this styrofoam box. Let me take it out. Uh, it comes in this retail box, the wall detector. I will open now. It's still closed. I hope that it has battery. Okay, let's open this. Yeah. Okay, so this is the retail box for the wall detector. It has also in English some characteristics. Yeah, okay, let's see what comes inside. Let's open this. Oh, it's smaller that, than what I initially thought. Also in the box we have a small user manual. This one is already in the new Fnixi format. We have a section in Chinese and in the middle it starts the section in English with some diagrams, photos, yeah, infographics. Yeah, seems okay. We have the normal USB cable for charging let me see if this is USB type C and we have a pretty nice uh, bag for storage. You can use this on your belt if you are on the field. Yeah, very nice. Let me take this out of the way and let's see the device, how it is. Okay, opening. Okay, pretty simple. We have only two buttons. Let me see if we have something on the top. Ah, we have a power button in the bottom. Also the uh, socket, the USB Type-C socket for charging. This, we have two strips of, um, of Velcro-like cloth. This probably will grab the ear. yeah but this is to to slide better on the surfaces yeah it seems okay for first impressions let's power it on i have here the wd-01 ready for testing or to show you how to operate let's start by pressing here in the bottom the power button yeah like that and I will explain the screen. Okay, so in this uh, small column, we have a intensity indicator that will help you to see how the, the signal intensity it is. Okay, so in this line, 
you have the depth of the pipe or the, the wire or whatever on the wall, the depth that he finds. We have the high letter that show you that we are in the metal detection mode. We can change that using these two buttons. I will change now for foreign object detection. And in this mode, you can have the exact mode. Or if you press it a little bit, you have the deep mode. Okay. Uh, since this mode is used for metal, uh, for wood detection, uh, wood studs and stuff like that, and maybe some PVC in the walls, he already detect uh, is detecting what I have below my desk, uh, my workbench here. Uh, but I will show you some some working with this uh, in the bench also. So uh, we have also, let me put this again in metal detection. We have also the battery indicator here in the bottom. And I will now use this metal ruler in, below my workbench. So you can see this working. You have here the center indicator. Yeah, let me, yeah. So we have the center indicator and you can see the intensity working 100% and it says the, um, the distance below or if it is a wall, the, um, the depth that the pipe or the wires are. As you can see right here uh, a small magnet. This will say if the metal detected is magnetic or if you have the same icon, this magnet icon with a line uh, cutting on top, then it, it, it signifies that it, it's not magnetic, uh, the, the detect metal. We have also the ability to activate sound. I disabled that feature. Just press the two buttons and you have here the sound uh, icon. Let me show you. Okay. It gives you a sound signal when the, the object is detected. Okay, my desk is about two and a half uh, centimeters, 25 millimeters. As you can see, it detects two centimeters. It doesn't have decimal digits, so it can only detect two or three centimeters. But yeah, it seems to work fairly well. It's really easy to 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 use. Uh, yeah, it seems to have a good construction. This is not rubber; it's plastic. But even so, uh, yeah, it seems fairly good. Okay, now I will tell you what is the meaning of this light. When this light is green, you have no detection. When it it's yellow, you are almost detecting something in the wall, or it detects something, but it's not centered yet and you have the red light when it's center. I will show you in a bit. Regarding the red light, it's also used when you are charging the device like this. It will uh, turn the red light on and yeah. So let's simulate here a detection. I've shown you before this ruler. It's a metal one. I will put the, the ruler under the desk and it's located uh, like with the, this small stick. You can see the location under the, the workbench. So I will move the ruler until they are aligned with uh, this small stick. And let's see what it detects. Okay, it's almost aligned, yeah. 100% uh, intensity. It's not, ah, okay, it's at the center right now, yeah. So it seems to be working. Two centimeters, because as I told you, it's two and a half. Let me take the sound off. It's quite annoying. And yeah, if I go a little bit more to the end of the desk, no, you cannot see it. But I have power below the desk also. Okay, only missing to show you how it detects current. I have here a power supply with 220 uh, volts. 
it seems to have here sensors because if you go near the current it it will show you you can see here blinking the icon to to show you that it has current it seems and if you bring it like this it te is telling you that it's at the center the current it's blinking and if it detects current you can see it blinks to warn you yeah and if you take it out it will only be red but when it detects current well when it detects current it will be blinking well the only thing that is missing is to show you how to calibrate this device for that take it here in your hand take make sure that the light is green and press the i for three seconds the light goes down and wait until it gets green again okay it seems very easy to use this must be one of the quickest operation reviews i've done in the channel so it's time to test it on some walls let's do it okay we are ready let's see how this device works on a drywall i will show you also in my future home that is in construction it's a construction site yet how we can detect behind a, a wood uh, wall and also behind drywall here in the office there's there's where i am now i have also in the back in the meeting room concrete walls to detect pipes so let's do this so let's start by peeling the protective plastic yeah baby this is mine now yeah perfect okay so i know for a fact that uh, somewhere over here uh, it should uh, exist a stub and 60 centimeters ahead should exist another one i will try to to find it first with the wd01 the first thing you have to do it's on the wall to press again the foreign uh, material to calibrate and let's start and see if we can find it okay here it is you have here the center i will ask irene to help me okay 60 centimeters and around here it should have another one yep and it's detected so this is a concrete wall from the other side of this wall is a bathroom i know that over here uh, i have a water pipe that gives the water to the bathroom so let's see if we can find it and in what depth uh, the pipe is let's start by scanning okay and we have the center here at nine centimeters depth. I know for a fact that in this wall, uh, I have a pipe uh, that takes the water from this side to this side. With this, we can find exactly, this is a concrete wall, it's not drywall. And with this device, we can know exactly where it is and what is the depth in the wall. So let's start by seeing if we can find it yeah here and if you go along the wall let me show you it says it's at four or five centimeters and if you go along the wall you can see that you have a pipe in here if you go around yeah here it is let me show you just a, so we we have to be on the spot here it is at this height and if we go around we don't have anything so guys welcome to my humble house uh, this is, will be my future home it's in construction as you can see and yeah i'm going to try to show you how the tech if the device is able to detect the wires below this wall it has wood after the after the wood it has foam for insulation and cement on top of it i'm going to use the fnixi wd01 and try to see if I can find the wires from the other side of the wall so right now i'm going to try to find the cable that i showed you inside here 
as you can see let's go over here and right over here we should have here it is the cable uh, for the electric wires this has 10 centimeters of foam to protect and to insulate the the house as i said it has concrete uh, not concrete cement over it and it has wood behind so in total it should be almost 15 centimeters more or less 12 to 15 and it was able to detect the wire uh, below this wall yeah pretty neat this is a simple but very useful device you can learn where the stubs pipes or wires are on the wall and it is able to even say at what depth they are for metal it can say if it is magnetic or non-magnetic metal pretty cool the price is reasonable this one costs around 33 dollars or 33 euros because at this moment the exchange rate is about the same and in my opinion this is an acceptable price to pay for a tool like this so for the usefulness of this wall detector the functions and accuracy that i was able to test the price is fair unfortunately i don't have another one to make a comparison but the experience here while using it uh, was good i had to disable the sound yeah because it was really annoying but other than that it worked very well if you are in need of a tool like this and decided to buy one don't forget that you have the link for shopping in the description and also you can use one of these affiliate links in the screen to help the channel with the small affiliate commission from your purchase thank you and if this video was in any way useful to you don't forget to slap that like button and if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that bell to activate all notifications and be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Cheers!